안녕하세요. Hi everyone. In Korean dramas or Korean movies, have you heard of 감사합니다 or 죄송합니다? 감사합니다 means thank you and 죄송합니다 means I'm sorry. And also, have you been wondering why people say 감사합니다 and 죄송합니다 instead of saying 감사합니다 and 죄송합니다 like how they are written or spelled. And in this video, I will explain why this pronunciation change happens in relation to nasalization. Let's get started. 시작해요! 시작해요! The sounds of consonants vary regarding the manner of articulation. Plosive, nasal, liquid, and more. Plosive sound is pronounced by expelling air through the mouth, like 기억, 디귿, and 비읍. And nasal sound is pronounced with the air being expelled from the nose, like 니은, 미음, and 이음. And liquid sound is like the flowing water sound, like 리을. When a plosive sound is followed by a nasal sound, the plosive sound becomes nasal sound. We call this nasalization. And nasalization is considered a simulatory process. Assimilation in phonetics means that a speech sound becomes similar or identical to a neighboring sound. This process makes it much more easier to pronounce consecutive consonant sounds. Let's have a close look at some cases of nasalization. When pyup or pyup in the previous character combines with nyun or miyum, up sound becomes um sound. 감사합니다 is pronounced 감사합니다. 죄송합니다 is pronounced 죄송합니다. 고맙습니다 becomes 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. And 미안합니다 becomes 미안합니다, 미안합니다. And more examples. 아홉 명 becomes 아홉 명, 아홉 명. 일곱 마리 becomes 일곱 마리, 일곱 마리. 십만 becomes 십만, 십만. 옆 모습 becomes 옆모습, 옆모습. As you can clearly hear, the 미음 니은 and 미음 미음 can be said much more comfortably compared to the 비음 니은 and 비음 미음 sound. By the way, you might not have seen the combination of different final consonants like 리을 비읍 and 비읍 시옷. We call this 겹자음, the final compound consonant. Among the two consonants, only one becomes the sound for the final consonant. When 리을 비읍 and 비읍 시옷 in the previous character combines with 니은 or 미음, the final consonant is pronounced 음 sound. I will show you examples. This is not 을네 or 읍네. But 음네, 음네. This is not 밟는다 or 밟는다, but 밟는다, 밟는다. And this is not 없는 or 없는, but 없는, 없는. And this is not 갑만 or 갓만. But, 간만, 간만. In this video, I covered a very small part of nasalization. And the other parts of nasalization will be introduced one by one in later videos. And congratulations, we are done with the unit 1, Hangul. In the following video, we will start unit 2, Greetings and Introduction. And in the first video of unit 2, I will cover a list of new vocabulary.
The list of the vocabulary will include names of different countries and occupations and how to say 0 to 10 in Sino-Korean. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to support me, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.